Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Uh, this is a brisk, cool morning in December. It's actually uh, Christmas morning, and uh, Jan and I, or Sheila and her puppies, and uh, they're getting big enough now. They're eating dog feed. They're learning to to drink water. They're kind of cleaning up on some of the meat scraps. They're really starting to grow. Sheila is keeping her weight on real well, but of course, we're get, she's getting 30% uh, protein in her feed, and plus some meat scraps, and tomorrow her uh, scraps will be some chicken livers that we've thawed out, and she's just getting a little extra treatment, but she needs it when she's suckling eight big, robust puppies. They're starting to actually play with each other now, and kind of fight and they chew on things that's what puppy do <laughs> that one's chewing on sheila right there getting them just a little bit of milk but uh they're what we what we calculate out honey they're five weeks old now they're five weeks old yeah well i like that hat you got on can i have it no <laughs> i need it it's cold out here it looks warm it is it is <laughs> Uh, ben and I went and moved the cows this morning. They're way back over there on that far hill. And uh, they were happy to get into their stockpile this morning. We had to break ice on the pond. And it was probably, I don't know, inch and a half thick. It was thick enough we had to, couldn't, you couldn't use your foot to break the ice. You had to get an instrument. So. But we uh, just warmed these puppies. You just warmed them uh, yesterday. And, uh, and Sheila, um, just to kind of help keep her weight on. She's got a few more weeks with the puppies. Um, I've been coming in and locking her out with the puppies, and uh, that causes a lot of drama. Uh, but she's not so much upset. I think the puppies are more upset. We're up to about 40 minutes, and we're trying to just increase the time with without Mommy being around so we get ready for whelping. Yeah. Bring, we're bringing warm water over to them and getting ready for weaning you mean yes. not whelping yeah i'm sorry weaning so that's a can of uh fat puppies get a little bit of that no stay down sheila sheila she just wants so much attention she's a lovely dog and you already named this little guy ringo stay down sheila, sheila. that's ringo this is butch which one's Butch? This one here. And why is he Butch? Just because he's ornery little cuss. I get in here to get their water pans emptied and check the food. <laughs> and he's already tugging on my cuffs of my pants. I've sat down with him. and He's a bruiser. Oh, looking. he is. And he was Stay like in. chewing through my glove. It was kind of starting to hurt. He's got a sister over there. I haven't named her. That looks just like him. So there end up being seven males and one female. And one female. Yeah. In this. And Ringo's got him a little piece of deer fat. Yes. There. And that little girl's over there got a little piece of fat and that little oh, white yep. puppy's trying to tack her tail. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. So they're already <laughs> learning their uh play, but they're learning how to fight. Yeah. You're a little guy. I know. You want to come out here and join your buddies? All you got to do is slip through that wire. You get so fat, and they can't make it through that bottom strand. They have to come over the top. <laughs> I can't believe how much water they're drinking. Yeah. They, you know, they're serious. They need more dog food. So they need more milk. I mean, more water. Oh, and there you go. You made it through there. <clears throat> so they're eating puppy chow now, right? Yeah. Just right right along with Sheila. Yeah. I started soaking it earlier this week to kind of help them start eating it. Ooh. Well, I can hear them. Ooh, these two over here are facing off with each other. They got stiff little tails. <laughs> they went from basically being able to just barely walk to fighting in about five to seven days. Yeah. Well, not even about five days. Well, I mean, they're going after it. And uh, they, you can see they tear up these carcasses and these little meat bits. Um, 
which is kind of good because they're starting to get those little needle nose teeth and uh, they really hurt when they bite or they're starting to you had one chewing on your glove the other day through your oh. finger and you felt it through the glove yes it was butch he, it was butch he was, was chewing butch. Yeah. and then he got a hold of my ankle through my socks <laughs> I call him Butch. He's a little uh, like Butch and, Butch and Sundance kid. Or Well, look at this little guy. That Ringo, he's a go-getter. Yeah. He just yanked all that away from his sister or his brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I love to hear him growl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're a growler. Now, I just tied that string on there to keep your tarp tight, and you're over there trying to chew on it. Yeah, we've had a, oh, 20 to 40 mile per hour winds, and these puppies have, <laughs> have done very well in the cold. Well, let me get that comment. People say you need to have them in the heated garage or your house. Shame on you for having them out here. This is where they're going to live, folks, for their entire life. These are guarding dogs. They've been raised like this for centuries. They don't belong in a heated shop, period. They can't grow a winter hair coat if they're not exposed to cold weather, and that's what they've got. They've got winter hair coats on. These puppies are thriving in their environment. And you're doing a disservice to them to put them in a heated garage when they're this size. Now, if they're little babies and uh, they just were born, or, you know, they're just... A little bit smaller if you're weaning them you don't have a place to put them maybe for a while that's fine but these puppies are really excelling out here they've got their mother they're still getting just a little bit of milk they're learning how to play they're learning what that hot wire is over there so tell them what with that what we've got here well that's chicken it's chicken netting poultry or po well yeah that's what chicken is is poultry yeah. <laughs> Um, we got some more coming that's actually 30 inches tall. This one here, 40. 40. It's a little hard for me with my winter, winter yeah. tire to climb so over it. We got this netting uh, from Premier, Premier Fencing, wasn't it? No, this one was from Ken Cove. Oh, this was from Ken Cove. Okay, well, the next one's coming from Premier. And it's 30 inches tall. 30 inches tall. It's easier to step over, but uh, we like this netting. Uh, it keeps the puppies in. It, it breaks them really well. Uh, it does have around six to seven thousand volts in it, and so they don't they don't mess with it. And the dogs now, the big puppy, <clears throat> excuse me, the big puppies that were born in the end of August that are with the main sheep flock now, we moved them yesterday morning. Ben and I did, and when we came to a gate, we opened it, but they were a little bit skeptical. They weren't sure that gate was open because they had been up there and got shocked. They, they came on through, and uh, so they're, they've learned that hot wire is nothing to mess with. And, and we started them in a pen like this. Yep, they were in here. The, the What we call the uh, teenage puppies. <laughs> the rascals. The rascals, they were in. This is the pen they were in. And, uh, and put, we put that offset wire so that they understood what the wire meant. Right, so on this netting we put a piece of uh, poly braid at about four inches off the ground all the way around this whole enclosure and this is a 160 foot length of netting 100. it's 100 feet so oh look at those two go at it <laughs> who needs a tv you can watch puppies fight oh man look at them look at them they're having a christmas christmas morning romp yeah. <laughs> but when we take Sheila out, we'll put that offset wire inside here. Right. Um, yeah, their, their little worlds are going to change when mommy's gone. Yeah. But uh, mommy's got to be taken out of here because they're getting teeth now, and she doesn't let them suck very long. She just gets up and walks off. But, but she needs to get she, her body weight She back. needs to get her body weight back on, and she will when we get these puppies off of her. Boy, they are fun to watch and watch them grow up. And uh, they're going to be learning learning all the intricacies of being a, a livestock guarding dog here very shortly. So they're already learning to fight. Uh, there's a boss puppy in here. There's eight of them. And there's one butch. probably butch that they don't mess with. But you know that little female, she's, 
She has to hold up for herself too. Yeah. And seven brothers. Yeah, seven brothers. Yeah. I grew up with five sisters, so I know what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> um anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here everyone. Uh have before we go, can we say yes. uh, thank you for all your support and uh Oh, Ooh. that one found the electricity. Yeah, this is good. And with mommy in here. Yep. But, uh, thank you all for your support over the year. And may your new year be better than last year. And may the profits be good. Yes. And uh, I'm glad you reminded me, Jan, because there's a there's a there's something I wanted to share with everybody if I get to it. It's <laughs> in my shirt. Up. I'm bundled up. And uh, this is a direct reflection on you all. That's why I wanted to share it with you all. I wrote down some of these stats. Well, just got to find it. I'm getting to it. Be patient. There it is. So uh, I got a year-end uh, kind of wrap-up from YouTube, and... They're talking about, we have, uh, well, first of all, we got uh, 35,865 new subscribers this year. And we had uh, 6.4 million new views. And uh, fans took in 591,000 hours of watch time. Uh, our channel made creator on the rise, which I didn't know what that was. But it was kind of cool that... Uh, we were highlighted that day all through YouTube uh, worldwide, and uh, we shared a con our content was shared 43,000 times. We had around 3,200 uploaded minutes and uh, around 19,000 comments. So that you know, that's just that's you all. Um, yeah, so 6.4 million new views. That that's just crazy in in one year. So. It's you all that are making the channel grow. Uh, we're sharing what we're doing out here on the land. And uh, we enjoy, you know, what we do out here. And it's a great life. But I think it does need to be structured, right? There's a lot of mistakes that, you know, we've made. And we're trying to keep people from making those mistakes. But if it's all centered around regenerative agriculture, uh, capturing solar energy with animals and moving them daily and not spending a lot of money on inputs, I think we can, you know, do a pretty nice living on the land and uh, not give all of our money to the people in town. And that's what we're about. So with that, uh, hit that uh, subscribe button on the way out if you would. And uh, we're going to let the puppies be puppies and uh, hit that like button too. And we're going to see you all down the road.